The good is bad, and the bad is always justified. So although we know good is good, bad is bad, what that means is much deeper. So the good that we all do should not be underappreciated, but it also doesn't deserve to be commended. It should just be done in the fact that you should just send positivity and good karma through all of your actions so then why is the bad justified well I don't know why is there bad you have to get to the root of evil um, there's many roots many branches obviously money um, but what is the agenda what what is trying to be driven um, and who's going to uphold those standards right now it's looking like uh, in a capitalistic society we produce goods and services that will not last if they're American made they're going to function for the time being until that is another product comes out along the line that is newer, faster, stronger. So that's more of the consumerist aspect. If you want to get into the more political aspect, uh, why is the bad always justified? Why, when bad is done, why is an innocent person automatically put on the back burner of their past or what warrants they might have had and obviously these things are taken into consideration because it's contextual um, but if you can't open your eyes to the fact that there is a blatant disregard of personal safety and force brutalization by our police force that protects and serves the communities in America. So with that long-winded ideal, um, if just thinking about Norway or, or Scotland and, and how much their police, how much training they receive, how much on-the-job training, just realistic. I'm not going to sit here and talk like I know what police training is, but obviously the results are different. Um, it only takes 21 weeks for uh, an American police officer in a high school diploma. So, uh, why do you get pulled over? Or no, uh, do you know why I pulled you over today? Because you got C's in high school? So, I'm not going to say all cops are a fallback plan. Um, and it's not fair to generalize. Generalizations are dangerous. But in this instance, the consensus majority of authorities, that is, the police officers, have been proven to be corrupt, have been bad eggs. So reform is imminent. I don't know solutions. But why is the bad always justified?